Good afternoon, I'm Dan Martin. Our top story this noon, U.S. Marshals and local law enforcement arrested an amusement company worker at the Canfield Fair. The suspect is from South Carolina and was wanted there for trying to meet a teenager for sex and sending nude photos on social media. 27 First News anchor Dave Sass is live at the fairgrounds with new information about the case this afternoon. Dave? And most people didn't even know there was a search here yesterday at the Canfield Fair, which included the parking lots, the grandstand, some of the streets here at the fairgrounds before they kind of located this man in that amusement park ride section you were talking about, Dan. And I just confirmed a minute ago that it was in the kids section of that park where they found this man wanted again in South Carolina, as you said, for criminal solicitation of a minor. We'll show you a picture of him. I can tell you he's 30 year old Brandon Walsh. He's wanted in the uh, area of South Carolina, right around Columbia, where the University of South Carolina is located. How this all happened was there was a warrant issued for his arrest on Friday, and then U.S. Marshal Service in South Carolina called here yesterday to the Northern Ohio Violent Fugitive Task Force. They had some sort of tip that he was in this area. They tracked that he was working at a ride and then they canvassed the area and got him down in that kitty ride section as I was telling you about. Again, as you alluded to, Dan, yes, he was uh, trying to entice a 13-year-old person through Facebook to meet him for sex and also send new photographs. Uh, I talked to the, the U.S. Marshals Service this morning. They were telling me this is exactly why the task force was set up in 2003, so that somebody who was wanted miles away, if they thought there was a chance they would be in Ohio, that they could track these types of people down and find them immediately. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. Of course, Brandon Walsh will be charged. He's in jail right now here in Mahoning County. He will be taken back to South Carolina once they have an extradition for hearing for him. I asked if there would be any local charges against him. They haven't determined that yet, but they are going to see if there's anything that, that might have happened illegally while he was here uh, working at the Canfield Fair. Of course, he was hired by the amusement park company, not by the Canfield Fair. Uh, as for what was found with him, I understand there was a phone that they fished out of a port john and they've been searching that for more information. But again, right now, Brandon Walsh, 30, year, 30 years old, under arrest and in the Mahoning County Jail right now, waiting to be taken back to South Carolina, where he will undergo charges for criminal solicitation of a minor. Live at the Canfield Fairgrounds, I'm Dave Sess, WKBN 27 First News.